welcome to my channel and I know I know it's been a little bit since I've uh, been on here uh, we've had a lot of stuff going on in uh, the personal life and so essentially as much as I hate to say this YouTube kind of got put on the back burner it wasn't really as important as it was before um, but since stressors have completely relaxed around my life I finally am able to get back to it um, Essentially, our weekends were taken up by caring for another house, and so now we have um, the house we're currently living in, and then we have another house that we are dealing with, so. <laughs> um, but anyway, it, that, that seriously has been going on for like two months, and I am so thankful that it's finally over. Well, it's not it's not over over, but it's it's for the most part over, so I'll finally be able to be on YouTube more often, be on there more for full time. And um, I still have been streaming on Twitch. So that's usually like the easiest and fastest way to find me is if you just hang out on my uh, Twitch account and you follow me on there. Um, it always notifies you when I go live. But I've been uh, on there every scheduled day. So Monday, Thursdays, and Saturdays um, at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Anyway, <laughs> at the same name it is here, Jasmine Sim. Um, of course, the link is down in the description below. But essentially, that's all I've essentially felt like I've had time for. Um, I haven't really had time for other things. And so now we're just kind of uh, going with the flow now. And considering the fact that, like I said, all, this, all of life's stressors, big major stressors that were taking literal time away from me, are finally over. So... Here we are, and Island Living has was announced and released, and I am honestly so sad that I did not get a chance to do a reaction video because my reaction was hilarious. <laughs> when the uh, pack released, I actually, um, I was walking with a friend of mine and we were heading out to lunch, and I'm sitting here like, wait a second, they're announcing it, they're talking, it's the live stream, they're talking about what they're gonna do. And then they announced Island Living, and I was like, yes! And I was so excited, and I was, like, fist-pumping the air, like, where I was, which was at work. And <laughs> uh, now it's a day off. And, because they normally, they, they like to no live stream and do that kind of stuff when I'm at work. Lame. But anyway, so today we are building a houseboat for Island Living. Um, and this houseboat is Island Living and base game only. So if you are interested in it and you have Island Living, you can go ahead, you can download it. You're not going to be missing anything. Um, make sure you do have move objects on. I did turn it on so this way I could place the ladders because of, uh, they're, they're stupid. <laughs> you can't have, I mean, I can understand it because, uh, you know, Sims can dive off of the edge, but this is a houseboat and we're trying to be safe. So, anyway, um, I kind of had a lot of fun building this. I'd actually been thinking about doing, like, a houseboat-esque type, um, build for a little bit. I'd been kind of thinking about it and contemplating, like, okay, well, how am I actually going to make this work? So, this is technically permanently, essentially, docked at this dock in here in Sulani. Um, and, but, I mean, theoretically, you could just remove the dock and rebuild your own dock if you want to have it on a different dock and then you can download it and put it on a different lot if that's what you would like and you can make a new dock for it but um that's just the way that it's planned out right now it's a two bedroom one bath um little houseboat i mean i was mostly inspired by the sims 3 and the fact that we had actual real houseboats there which i do greatly miss desperately anyway so, if there's any kind of, like, lagginess or anything to this video, I do apologize. Apparently, my computer was just like, nah. Nah. <laughs> I mean, it looked okay the first time I played the video through, so it could just be my video player, like, playing it back to me. But just in case. Um, but I try to use as many of the Island Living items in it as were possible. Especially where I could replace items, like the counters, doors, windows, flooring. All that stuff's Island Living. And I freaking love this bed from Island Living. I do. And the house, by the way, comes out to be, I think it's like 52000 So, I mean, it's not, it's not terribly overpriced. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely no starter build. And uh, maybe I should do a starter 
home too. Uh, but I did renovate a couple of the lots in Sulani. Um, they are on the gallery in case you're interested in seeing them. But um, right now we are building our own. This one goes at the very top left corner of the lot. I can't. Uh, what, what's it called? Uh, I don't know. I, my my window's very very small. I can't read what it says. Reef finery. <laughs> Sims, I see you in your puns. Um, so, that's where it's at. It, like I said, it's up in the upper left-hand corner. Um, it's where the Nagata household is living right now. Um, that's where this lot was built. So, in case you're interested, you can download it and put it right there. It fits perfectly on the lot, too. I can't even remember what kind of lot size it is. I think it's only like a 40 by 40. Maybe it's a 50 by 40. I don't know. I was trying to find a lot that had a lot of ocean. This way we could justify the fact that it's a houseboat and it would naturally be in the ocean. So, but it has this cute little bathroom. And by the way, the house is play tested. The bathroom works 100%. The ladder works 75%. Your Sims can't cannonball or swan dive off of it, but they can climb down and climb back up from the ladder. They just can't dive or, you know, jump off the back patio due to that, so... Um, if you would like them to, you just have to remove a piece of fencing, and then they'll be able to dive off the, uh, off the back end of it. And then also, um, I play-tested, I play-tested the entire bathroom to make sure that the bathroom was working and functioning correctly. I play-tested the mirror, made sure the mirror was working correctly. And, um, like I said, I tried to use as many of the Island Living, um, items as possible, so... Um, a lot of the decorations are from the- I actually was really surprised there's no art for Island Living. Which honestly, I was a little- I was a little upset about. I'm like, come on, man, like... I would have thought- I would have thought that there would have been wall art for Island Living. There is wall decorations, which I did use. Um, I used, I think, two or three of those. Maybe more than that. Um... The curtains, they just made me angry, so I stopped using the curtains. There's two plants. I used them both in this uh, build. Um, I used both rugs in this build. Um, I freaking love this divider. I actually, um, I had a subscriber on Twitch. Um, they built a house, or they built like an apartment complex. I believe I favorited them. I'm pretty sure I favorited on my gallery. Um, but they built this apartment complex, and one of the apartments was uh, Sulani inspired. And they used it. I didn't even realize I was in Island Living. I thought that was something they made. And then I found out that, oh, no, that's an actual item. So, of course, I used it. I freaking love it. It's beautiful. Um, but, of course, with this being a houseboat docked, um, I did make kind of like a uh, recreational area for the um, dock and the beach. Because if it's docked, and beached, they wouldn't necessarily have, like, um, like, it wouldn't, like, the, oh, like, the beach is not owned by them, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, the dock and the beach isn't owned by them. So, all their actual items are on the houseboat and all that kind of stuff, but then there's community items, so the, um, vending machine, the swing, and the, uh, barbecue pit along with tables and stuff like that on the dock, just this way it kind of, um, kind of felt more like it was a part of the community. And that little, like, HVAC system, I was kind of, like, pretending, quote-unquote, we're pretending that that's the engine for the houseboat, this way it can propel itself forward, backwards, you know, whatever. And then it's got its cute little sails, and of course we're going right here into a beautiful tour of this house. I freaking love the way Island Living looks and Sulani and all that kind of stuff. I freaking love it. I think it's gorgeous and beautiful. There's so many colors and so much like architecture and um, just different items to pick from. And honestly, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I am super surprised that this, that this build came out as Island Living and um, base game only because realistically, I waited till like a third of the way into building this that I would actually turn those on. And I was like, you know what, maybe I should try and keep it to just like island living or try to use more island living items. So the fact that it came out as just island living was honestly a miracle to me. I'm honestly normally pretty terrible about that. Um, but here is the entryway. 
Um, immediately to the left is the master bedroom. Um, technically, I, I did say this is a two bedroom, one bath. I don't I don't know what happened to the furniture. It just disappeared and came right back. I don't know. Um, like I said, I did list this as a two bedroom, one bath. The office can be transitioned to a second bedroom. Um, that's how most uh, realtors list their house and stuff like that. So, uh, but there is a three piece bathroom here with towels, robes, and that little uh, cabinet thing for him. I'm really angry, honestly, that there's no toilet that matches all the island living stuff. Um, here is the beautiful office. I don't know if that's necessary. Well, I mean, technically, I guess the thing would be pushing it forward and you would just like rack up the dock and stuff. Um, here's the kitchen and dining area. And then the living area is just behind it. I decided to put it in the um, boxing or the punching bag. And then what was the other skill building? I, I put another skill building item in there. I can't remember what it is now. Um, but then I put in a couple just so this way you can kind of like have an idea of like what you could do for your Sims. Um, of course, here's their back patio. They can see directly down to the ocean floor, which is gorgeous. And uh, they have these beautiful views of Sulani, especially on this island. And of course, they have their cute little jet ski that maybe they just tow behind or whatever. Uh, but that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Uh, leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions all down below. Um, so here's a question. This is a little bit more um, introspective, I think. I, I don't think I used that word correctly. Um, fourth wall-ish, if you will. Um, what is a good length that you guys like for speed builds? Um, is it like less than 10 minutes, 10 to like 12 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes, 15 plus. Um, what do you guys like having as a length for speed builds? Um, I'm just curious, so I always know like, what's a good length to leave them at? Anyway, all my social media is in that description box down below, including my Twitter, Facebook, and my Twitch link, so you can come check us out on Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, anyway, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. This week, be notified when I upload new videos. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.